Some might say that I'm a loner But I just call it being free I am my heart's only owner I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living. And I'm Marie. And we hope everyone's having a great day today here in uh, Northwest Georgia. It's a little bit cloudy, but the temperatures are nice. Yeah. And uh, we're looking out the window right now. And it's just beautiful out there, isn't it, Marie? Yes, it is. And it makes me want to go off. <laughs> well, I think we're going off since we finished recording our Sunday chat. We want to welcome everybody to uh, Sunday chat this morning. We also want to thank everybody, and I mean sincerely thank everybody for watching our Sunday chat last week. I think we had over 5,000 people that watched our Sunday chat last week, Marie. Wow. And that was on our CT scan results, and the comments just kept coming in. And I want you to know, I just it just done my heart good to read all the comments. Yeah. And so we do have a lot of new viewers that's been watching our channel lately and quite a few has picked up on our channel because of uh, my health concerns and we were not trying to promote that at all mm -hmm. but we just wanted to share it with everyone and we realize a lot of our viewers are going through the same situation yeah. either with themselves or one of their loved ones and some of our viewers are going through that nasty virus that's still going around <laughs> yes that's and, been uh, rough <laughs> we've been praying for y'all especially there's one person that their whole family has it and so we've been keeping them in prayer yes we have okay i'm not going to say her name though i don't know if she wants me to or not but so i won't say it uh anyway so so as i was reading comments it just, you know, it just does me so good to read all those comments. Yeah. And last Sunday, I was actually trying to watch the uh, Daytona 500, mm -hmm. but I was reading comments while I was watching the race and not paying much attention to it. And to be honest with you, uh, when I got through reading all the comments and replying to them, I got sleepy and fell asleep during most of the race. <laughs> But uh, I can't even tell you who won it. Uh, I did see the end of the race, but I wouldn't pay him that much attention to it. And like I said, I hadn't been watching racing for a lot of years, so uh, I didn't really pay that much attention to it. We, uh, we've we been busy this last week. We've had quite a few things going on. Yeah. And I had mentioned in, uh, I think, one of our later vid videos that uh, you and I had been shopping for some something. Yeah. And so I think we went Monday or either Tuesday. It might have been Tuesday that we actually found what we were looking for. Mm -hmm. And we've been shopping for some uh, new furniture for our living room. And we've been to several stores. A uh, couple of stores we went back twice. Yeah. And looking, trying to make a decision. And furniture is so expensive these days and the quality is just not there like it used to be. Right. But I think we found something we like, don't you, Marie? I do too. The outfit that we had got years ago, it's still fairly nice, yeah. but we've just had it for so long that yeah. it's time to get a new one. We want something different, didn't we? Yeah. We're gonna miss uh, the, we've got a love seat that is a rocker and recliner. Yeah. And we're going to miss that because they don't make them like that anymore. <laughs> and I know we're... Or at not, least around here we haven't found any, have we? We couldn't find them. So uh, it'll be uh, Thursday of this coming week is when they're supposed to deliver our new furniture. And so we're looking forward to it. And we'll try to record. Uh, we'll record some pictures and show you what we got uh, after it gets here. Uh, the one that we uh, previously had... It was 20 years, it's about 20 years old, isn't it? At least. <laughs> yeah. And so, like, like Kevin said, I'm hoping that we can get at least 10 years out of it, but I, yeah, I don't the know. New ones, I don't know if they'll last 10 years. I don't not. think so. They don't seem like they're made as good as they used to make them. No. But uh, 
But anyway, y'all, we just left on it. And we did end up buying the furniture we bought this week. We bought it from the same store that we bought our previous outfit from, didn't we, Marie? Yes, we did. But... And uh, we tried to get the same name brand, and we did get one piece in that name brand, but, mm -hmm. but we couldn't get all the pieces in that. No. Okay, and so um, then on Tuesday, uh, our granddaughter and daughter and son, all of them wanted to get together, and we had our little family get together for the month, yeah. and uh, we ended up going to the bowling alley. Yeah. And uh, we had planned on going to the bowling alley that's closest to our house. But then when we got there, they were having a tournament and yeah. it was completely packed out and we couldn't get in. So we drove across town to bowling alley on the other side of town. Yeah. And it was no problem. We was able to get in without any problems at all. We had a good time. Um, personally, I did not bow, and uh, Marie didn't bow either, but no. we had a lot of fun watching Addison. But just going out and being out that late and everything, I, it's, I still got tired just as if I did bow. <laughs> yes, it, it gets you tired staying out. Right. But little Miss Addison, she just had a ball. That was the first time she's ever been bowling, and she was just having so much fun. And, uh, I that think, was what was my thing, was watching her. Yeah, and I think the way they kept score, I think Addison ended up winning the game, didn't she, Marie? She did. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but she had a little assistance there with her uh, yeah. rolling the ball. Yeah. Uh, when we left there, everybody wanted to go up to the Sonic and get an ice cream or ice cream sundae or something. So yeah. we all drove up to the Sonic, got out and went up there to order. And they didn't have any ice cream. <laughs> and it was about, what was it, about 9 o'clock at night? Yeah. And they didn't have any ice cream. And so uh, Marie ended up getting her cherry limeade. Yeah, that's what I loved. I love from Sonic, it's the cherry limeades. Yeah. And so that was a good treat for you, wasn't it, Marie? It was. I love them. <laughs> <laughs> and so during our process of going shopping for the furniture this week, uh, one day, I don't remember which day it was, but we did go into the Dollar Tree and Marie Pitt was able to find some things for Easter decorations. Mm -hmm. And uh, she bought quite a few things, but we didn't do a haul on it. But uh, I do have a few video clips of her walking around inside the Dollar Tree. You enjoyed that day, didn't you, Marie? Yeah, I always enjoy uh, getting out because we, you know, for months you get cooped up with that old virus that's been <laughs> yeah. going around. So it's nice to get out and everything. So yeah. And speaking of getting out and dealing with the virus, uh, some of you that's been watching our channel a long time, you may remember that I used to go visit my brother's nursing home uh, every single day, but since I've been sick. I, it's been, right now, it's been six months since I got to go visit my brother at the nursing home. And, uh, but I told him last night that I'm gonna make every effort I can to come by and visit with him today. And I realize I'm taking a big chance going inside that nursing home uh, with, with the virus going around right now. Yeah. But I'm gonna wear my mask and I'm not gonna stay for just a few minutes. Uh, he just wants to see me. He's starting to have problems with dementia, and it's, it's been coming on him for a couple of years now, yeah. but I'm starting to see signs. By talking to him on the phone, I'm seeing signs that it is starting to get worse. Mm -hmm. And so uh, 
I do want to go visit him while he's, you know, can still recognize me. Hopefully, <laughs> yeah, he's completely bedridden, and yeah. he had he's had he was born with several palsy, mm -hmm. and so he used to could walk though, but he totally he can't walk anymore. No, so and his only family is just uh, the brothers and sisters. Yeah. but we were fortunate. We came from a big family uh, with seven kids, and so. Uh, We've been able to help him, but two of our, one brother and one sister has already passed away. Yeah. So the family's starting to get sort of small, but, but anyway, I'm going to try my best to go visit with him today. Um, also, one day this week, Addison came over to visit us, her and Cynthia. Yeah. And so uh, I'll go ahead and talk about this now, Marie. But we made a video. Was that video on Thursday or Friday that we made it? I'm not, um, it had to be Thursday. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So on Thursday, we made a video that we're going to be posting Monday night, tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. And uh, Addison came over, and we still had everything set up. So Addison stood right here at this uh, workstation, and she did a taste test on Marie's uh, video that she made. Yeah. So y'all have got to stay tuned and be sure and come out and watch that video tomorrow night mm -hmm. because she is just so precious. And at the end of the video, there's two bloopers. I think you're going to enjoy both of those bloopers. And all, and at the end of the video, um, she keeps saying Lulu, Lulu. <laughs> and that is the name that that she calls cats. She calls them Lulu for some reason. And... Um, she was wondering where the cat was that usually stays out here, and that's why she was, well, she was wanting to ask us where Lulu was. Yeah, but, and uh, and since you mentioned the cat, I'll go ahead and mention it because yeah. a lot of our viewers have noticed the kitten and that we talk about it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but the little kitty, uh, we didn't see her for two or three days, mm -hmm. and we didn't know what happened. And she's done this before; she'll go off and then come back. Yeah. And now this is not our cat it belongs to our grandson but next she, door. yeah but she likes to stay at the the sliding glass doors and watch me when i'm cooking oh yeah she, and <laughs> she and, did and marie feeds her <laughs> well i feed her dry cat food but not mm -hmm. you know any other kind of food yeah. okay but, um, so anyway she was yeah. missing for two or three days and then so i asked uh, our son i said lamar have you seen the kitty i said we hadn't seen that kitty in about three days and he told me, he said, Dad said, I didn't want to tell y'all this, but said, uh, I found the cat and, and it had died. And yeah. so we don't know what happened to the cat. He said it was not injured. It didn't look like any kind of animal attacked it or anything. Mm -hmm. So we don't know what happened. But Marie did say that she had noticed the, the last time we seen the cat mm -hmm. that it was acting, you know, strange, like it didn't feel good. Yeah. And so now the cat does love to go out in the woods a lot. And it's very possible that she could have got bitten by a snake. Because I'm sure there's plenty of snakes out there. We do know that we got raccoons uh, in the neighborhood. And we do have possums in the neighborhood. But normally, uh, raccoons are not bad about attacking cats. But if the cat saw the raccoon, the cat might have tried to attack the raccoon. Oh. And so uh, I don't know. But there's no, there's no injury on the cat. So we don't know what happened. But anyway, the little kitty died, so we're going to be missing uh, angels, what we call her. Yeah, and also I noticed the, the, the last time I seen her, she just sat at the steps, you know, and she didn't, she didn't do anything or anything. She just sat there like she was just, you know, resting, and she sat there for about maybe four hours or something like that that day. I mm -hmm. thought that was a little bit unusual. So then she just got up and left and I think that was the last time I seen her. Yeah, it was. She was just, I guess, she knew something was wrong with her and she was just staying there with me. <laughs> <laughs> well, so. she was a sweet little kitty cat. Yeah. Okay, we, um, we had four videos last week. Let me get my phone back on so I can remember which four we did. You ready to talk about videos, Marie? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I definitely don't want to talk about uh, Angel because it's, <laughs> she was very special. Yeah, Marie's been missing her all week long. And yeah, but 
especially when I come in here to cook because she was always there. Right she there. was an outside cat. So. Yeah, and every morning yeah. she'd be right there waiting on you. Yeah. Okay, so last Sunday we did the video for the Sunday chat and we talked about the CT scan results that the doctor had gave me. And as I mentioned, that was a very popular video and we appreciate everyone watching it. We appreciate all the comments and all the thumbs up because we got a lot of them on that video. Yeah. Uh, the next video that Marie did last week was the creamy corn salad. And uh, with that video, she did the uh, baked chicken thighs and the baked potatoes. Yeah. And that was a very tasty uh, recipe. I couldn't eat a lot of the creamy corn salad because of uh, I just can't eat the corn that much. I can eat a little bit, so I did enjoy some of it, but I thoroughly enjoyed the chicken thighs and the baked potato. And so uh, the next video that Marie did was, uh, oh, I, we must have talked about your fork biscuits last week. Oh, okay. Several people asked to see your fork biscuits. Oh, okay. <laughs> so Marie did a video. Uh, we called it Marie's Fork Biscuits. And... Uh, there, it's just a real fast and easy way to make biscuits. Yeah. And to be honest with you, I remember my grandma, we called her Granny, and I remember as a young kid when I was at her house, that's how she made her biscuits. She would take that bowl, and to me the bowl seemed this big, you know, <laughs> but she'd take that bowl and put that flour and milk in there yeah. and, uh, and start mixing it up, and just all of a sudden she'd pull them out and just roll them real quick and put them on there. Yeah, yeah, but she didn't use the fork. She got in there with her hands. and well, I don't mind getting in there with my hands, but I just think that this is less um, messy. Yeah. And also, you, <laughs> and don't, quicker. you don't have to clean up as much mess if you right. make them with just using a fork and a bow. And my grandmother rolled hers out, and she did that every, every time I ever seen her make them. But that's the way some people do. They like to do it that way. I've made biscuits <laughs> before. Uh, it's been a couple of years ago since I made any biscuits, but yeah. I'd always take and put flour all over the counter and then roll them out. And when yeah. I got through, I had flour everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and, and while the biscuits was cooking, it'd take the whole time they're cooking to clean that mess up. Well, okay. I just like, like I said, the best and easy way. <laughs> okay, and so then on Friday uh, morning, I had slept late Friday morning, and when I got up and woke up and started getting steering around, I could smell something cooking in here in the kitchen real good. So I come walking through and Marie had a big pot of uh, vegetable beef soup cooking. Yeah. And so I didn't tell her this, but I walked back to my uh, room that I keep all my camera equipment in and I just picked up a camera real quick and started coming through here. I was going to try to record part of it. Well, I stood in the hallway and announced, you know, announced that I was fixing to come in here and surprise her yeah. and she heard me yeah. <laughs> and so she she didn't act like she heard me but when I come in she knew I was behind her with the camera <laughs> and so it's just a little four minute video but it was just something to show you what Marie was doing and it was not staged it was not planned or anything mm -hmm. that was just real life uh, she was cooking and she already had the cornbread muffins in the oven the soup was already cooking, and she had a tea on the eye, uh, getting it heated up. Yeah. And that was our lunch uh, yesterday, and it was fantastic. I love soup. I know why she made the soup. I had told her the night before. I said, Marie, yeah. I love it when you make the big pans of soup, and I can have soup for lunch for about three days in a row. Yeah. And because I love soup. Yeah. And That's, I can eat almost any kind of soup. <laughs> yeah, and we make almost any kind too. We We've sure got a do. lot of videos. <laughs> we do. Okay, and so, uh, and then the next thing, I think I've already mentioned, but I'll talk about it one more time, but we do already have the video made for tomorrow night. And I think you'll thoroughly enjoy the video and the recipe that she did. It was great. I can't say nothing about it. If I do, you'll know what you made. <laughs> but just be sure and watch tomorrow night and see the video that Marie did. Yep. And um, Marie, is there anything else that we should talk about today? 
I think we've covered everything. We're fit. Well, when we get through with this, we're mm -hmm. going out to lunch, and so I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, we um, we, we usually go out for breakfast, but today we switched it around and we said said we'll go out for lunch. And you know why? I slept till 11:30 this morning, <laughs> <laughs> and so. Uh, I, I sort of messed up our breakfast, didn't I, Marie? Well, you got up and everything, but then you was watching something on YouTube, and then next thing I know, you was asleep. <laughs> yeah, that happens but a that's, lot. But that's okay. I remember when I was taking um, mm -hmm. chemo and radiation and all that. Um, definitely, you need your rest. <laughs> yeah, well, that happens to me a lot of mornings. I'll get up early and eat breakfast. But then when I sit down, I get sleepy and go back to sleep for a while. And so that's what happened. But uh, we're going to go to, is, I may not pronounce it correctly, but we went there uh, about a week or two ago and enjoyed their food. It's called Fazoli's. Yeah. And, and I'm not attempting to say it because I can't even say jalapenos. You said it good. <laughs> I said it good, yay. Okay. Thumbs up for me. <laughs> So when we finish up here today, we're going to run up to um, Fazoli's and uh, pick up lunch today. We will be bringing it home. Uh, Marie's already made salads so that we'll have salads to go with it and we don't have to buy the salads. Uh, Marie can make a better salad than they do anyway. Mm. And uh, the one we got last time, Marie, we got her a salad and she said, this is ridiculous and I'm not buying any more of their salads. <laughs> so. So anyway, we're going to get ready to head out this morning, or this afternoon, it's, let's see, yeah, it's afternoon now, so we're getting ready to head out and uh, go pick up lunch. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. Hopefully it don't turn out to be too long. Uh, I know it's going to take me a while to get all edited together because I've got quite a few pictures I want to insert into the video. And so we just appreciate everyone watching. And like I said at the beginning of the video, you know, I sincerely appreciate everyone watching last Sunday's Sunday chat. Yeah. It just meant so much to me. And, uh, you know, like I said before, you're just like family. And you are our YouTube family. And we love each and every one of you. So yeah. thank you very much. And we just want to thank you for all your prayers. And uh, we are praying for you also, the ones that uh, are on our um uh, prayer list okay and we are praying for y'all and we thank you for praying for us and so we'll see y'all on our next video and so y'all do what you love and love what you do and bye